My name is Tracy Kutchker. I'm the Director Curator at Salmon Arm Arts Centre. The Arts Council is an interdisciplinary arts organization and we like to offer programs and services that help the entire community experience all the different genres of art. The Arts Council supports the community by creating opportunities to experience the arts, to participate in the arts, opportunities to connect, to gather, to celebrate, and to use the arts to talk about social issues and important community topics. The building that the Art Centre is housed in was Salmon Arm's first post office. It was built in 1937 and designed by Thomas W. Fuller. And one of the things that make it very distinct is the Palladian windows. So the arched windows that you'll see at the Art Centre are distinctly Thomas Fuller's trademark and you might see those in other federal buildings across Canada. So a lot of people in the community remember it as Salmon Arms Post Office and they'll remember coming in the front doors and dropping their mail in the slot. And it served for that as that for 40 years. And then it became the community's library. And even more people remember coming in here as children and coming into the library when there was carpet on the floors and bookshelves everywhere. And it served as the library until 1994 and that's when it became available. And the Art Gallery Association had existed for about four years at that time and they um, asked the city council of the time, hey, wouldn't it be great if we had a community art gallery in that building? So the Art Gallery Association and the Shusop District Arts Council partnered to make this building into the art center and it's been that ever since. Melody Anderson's exhibition, A Cast of Characters, was a real celebration of the mask as part of the theater, the art of theater. And Melody has a 40-year career making masks, and so we were able to show 50-some uh, different masks of hers that were presented in productions that happened here in the Shoe Swap, as well as beyond, all over Canada, in, in fact, all over the world. And it was a real opportunity to get up close and personal with the mask, to see them in the detail, to see the art form of making a mask, uh, rather than just being able to see them from a distance on a stage. Spot, All About Cats and Dogs, is an exhibition that is open to all of our members, which means it's open to the whole community. All ages of artists working in all kinds of media are welcome to submit work for this show, and the only limitation was that it had to be smaller than 16 inches by 16 inches. So we have 129 works of various media, all celebrating cats and dogs in our lives. And it's an, an adorable exhibition because so many of the works are portraits of beloved pets and you can feel the emotion and the sense of attachment and love for all of these four-legged friends. The Earth Day Gathering in Salmon Arm was the first of its kind as a collaboration between us and the downtown Salmon Arm and Song Sparrow Hall we decided we wanted to do an arts-based education event that was very specifically about sustainable living and, and helping people learn more ways to live lightly on the planet. And so we created this idea, it was on Earth Day on Saturday the 22nd, downtown at Ross Street Plaza, and it was an amazing, positive gathering where all sorts of people from different organizations who have excellent sustainability projects on the go came together to share their information we celebrated with storytelling. We had Sohwetmik storytelling happening. We had a beautiful performance art piece from Runaway Moon Theater celebrating trees. It was a very, um, it was a full spectrum kind of event in, in which we shared information, we learned from each other, and we celebrated this place, this land that we live on. 
Coming up at the Art Gallery, we have La Atmu. It is an exhibition about solutions to climate change. Uh, I've asked artists to highlight acts of healing. And when we think about climate change, we're often being told all the bad news, all the things that are terrible about uh, the change in climate. But I wanted to focus on things that might give us hope. And so I have 15 artists in La Atmu, and they're all focusing on those acts of healing, either by humans or by nature herself. Uh, La Atmu is a phrase that is Sohat Mekchin, and it means good earth. And it opens on July 8th. So it'll be our summer exhibition. The Arts Council has been in existence since 1970. It was founded in 1970 here, and it was a group of very dedicated volunteers who started it with the, with the passion both for music and for giving visual artists an opportunity to show their work. So it's really the, the, a 50-something year old organization that has learned a great deal about our community and continues to, to push and challenge and provide opportunities to learn and grow uh, through the arts. Well, the Arts Council is, has many programs that run year-round. Uh, in the Art Gallery, the Exhibitions Program is open Tuesday to Saturday, 11 a.m. until 4 p.m. And people can draw by any time, admission is by donation. Uh, Wednesday on the Wharf, that happens all summer, is also just by donation, completely open to the whole community to enjoy live music down at the Wharf uh, in front of the gazebo. Uh, the Salmon Arm Pride Project has many community events that are wide open, free for everybody to attend, including Loud and Proud, which is the opening concert that happens downtown. So there's lots of ways to participate in Arts Council programs and events. Uh, it's just a really good idea to stay in touch so that you see all the amazing things that are coming up. My favorite thing about Salmon Arm is that it is a walkable community. You can get from one side of the downtown to the other in five minutes. Although it takes an hour because you always see people that you need to talk to and so it takes so long to get down the street because you're in conversation with people you know. But I love that you can walk around this community and it has all the services and shops that anyone could possibly need uh, and you can go from lake to lake in a matter of minutes.